So I was in the music business. But before that, I was a part of a, uh, a gang. But before that, I was a kid with no dad running around South London. And I was basically a very empty, broken person who just wanted to achieve something to make up for the loneliness. And so, you know, I got into the music business, I started realising that I could sing a bit, and so I started to sing and do parties, and then this guy told another guy, and his friend told a friend, and they introduced me to this guy called Kevin O'Dowd, who was the brother of George O'Dowd, who was Boy George, you know, the singer. And so we formed a band, and then we started to get somewhere, and, but I was still empty. We were taking drugs, we were drinking, we were driving, I looked outwardly, we looked like we were having a great time there in London, you know, but it wasn't My great. Purse. It was still an emptiness. Yeah. There was still something missing. And then that song, I was walking down the street. I was minding my business on a sunny day in June. It was June. I'm walking down the street, and this girl comes up to me, she goes, You need to give your life to Jesus. And I'm like, What? And she's like, Yeah, man, you, you're a sinner. And I said, Man, I'm not a sinner. I, I objected to that. You know, I'm like, What? I'm a sinner now. She's like, Yeah, you're a sinner. You need to. We're all sinners. She's really giving it to me, you know, like typical Potter's house. You need to repent, you know, sticking a finger in my face, man. And I'm like, Okay. But then six months later, I got saved. Whoa. Whoa.